Aren't you a cute turtle? It's a tortoise. Survival, Fountain of Youth is an open world single player survival RPG in which we are stranded on an island accompanied by dangerous animals, harsh weather and our main mission to find, you guessed it, the Holy Grail. <laughs> Gotcha! I am Doran the Explorer and I played the first two hours of Survival Fountain of Youth to see if it is a refund or a real fun. We are greeted by a voice narration, which tells us that we are on one of three ships destined to search for the Fountain of Youth. After hitting a storm, we have to jump out of the fire-filled cabin with only two items picked from a chest to have an easier start. With the chosen items, we start our journey on a beach filled with crabs, coconut trees and bits of the ship's wreckage. Through a quick tutorial we get our surroundings as well as some basic resources and set up a makeshift camp with a bed and a campfire, while our hunger and thirst bar drop lower and lower. Luckily in my case I picked a ration bag filled with meat, bread and magic apples, since these apples quench our thirst for some reason, but we all know the old saying, need a drink, have an apple. No, that doesn't sound right, I think it was with a pen, right? The gathering of most materials is done by a bit of an anticlimactic time skip which depending on our character skill, the current weather, the time of the day and our overall status takes a longer or shorter amount of time. The weather needs to be watched out for, since running in the rain can lead to a flu and fever, underestimating the sun can lead to sunburn and overheating. However, working through the night can have harmful consequences as well, since trying to start a fire at night or craft some armor can result in an injury due to the lack of a light source. This brilliantly realistic setting can be felt through all areas, starting with the hunger, thirst and energy bar, to the danger a venomous snake can bring, all the way up to filling the map with a charcoal while sitting on a high tree. Fall damage dropping from said high tree is lacking a tad of realism, but you can't have it all. After finishing the first tutorial quests, which quickly show us the ropes of the game, we make our way to a specific location at which we assume the Fountain of Youth to be. We guess wrong, but find a cave filled with scorpions that are easy to beat, so we make our way inside. What What the hell? What the hell? Get it off! Get it off! Get it off! Jesus Christ, that was scary. We, we, we find the abandoned camp of Ponce de Leon, our captain, and obtain a map to his spyglass. One quick look at the map shows an enormous open world, which will open up even more with upcoming updates. Leaving the cave, we have our first real combat encounter, with an angry short-eared dog stabbing it to death with our spear. The combat mechanics seem simple enough with reflex-based blocking or counter-attacking, which I never had to use since the incoming hits were quite low, even when battling two snakes. The quickly decreasing durability of our weapons, however, was a bit of an issue, since seemingly every couple of enemies, the spear broke. Luckily, even with an unlit torch, we are able to get some tasty meat from this turtle. Tortoise. A few more minutes into my first game session went by with building a bow and taking on charging animals with ease, while realizing the character's face must be between his legs while running up a hill. And yes, I know being alone on an island can make any man desperate, so after finishing my first two hours of game time, I have the following first impressions and verdict. Survival Fountain of Youth provides incredibly realistic and enjoyable survival features in beautiful and yet old school looking graphics, while only small issues like the camera angle can take away from an amazing score. Therefore, I would say that Survival Fountain of Youth is a real fun instead of a refund. Would you agree with my verdict? Let me know your thoughts in the comments, like, share and subscribe to my channel for more videos like this one and have a great day or evening.